everybody, my name is Jeff Lair, owner and operator of Lair's Market, which is in its 100th year. We wanted to make a video today for people, not so much on how to cut hogs, but what comes in a hog when you're buying from another store or whether you're buying it from us. Just to give you an idea of what all comes out of a hog. A lot of people call up and say, you know, what all comes in a half or a whole hog. So what we're going to do is show you what comes out of a half a hog. And if you want a whole hog, uh, you would just double it. So we'll get going here, Drew and I, and we'll show you what all comes out of a half a hog. All right, Drew, what we have here is a smoked ham. There's different options that you can do with ham. Naturally, this is smoked and ready to eat just like any kind of Christmas ham. And we let the customers tell us how they want it cut up. This ham in particular is probably about a 23, 24 pound ham. This came off of a 340 pound hog. Most of our hogs that we sell to customers are around 280 pounds. But this is a hog that a farmer brought in and we're using it for demonstration purposes. This customer wants their ham cut up in all ham steaks. You can make steaks out of it, you can make roast out of it. Whatever you're going to eat the most of, that's what you have sliced up. That's how you have it cut up. So, me personally, I love ham steaks. Holidays are coming up, you might want a ham to roast for the holidays so we can leave it whole. We would cut the hops off about here and about here, which would give you a real good holiday ham. And you can make beans, pea soup, whatever you want to make out of the hocks. Uh, let's see, Drew, what else we got? Some people like it in roast. We cut it in three pound roast if you like eating it like that. Only other option, you can do fresh ham. Some people like making fresh ham. Uh, I'm trying to think of the best way to, you just roast it, make a fresh pork roast out. Ham is a good thing to do. If you don't eat any of that stuff, then you can take your hand and have it boned out and throw it in sausage, which would give you about another 16, 17 pounds of extra sausage. Rockworth, bulk sausage, or uh, link pork sausage. So anyway, we'll show you how to cut this ham up. Put the hot sauce first. All hand steak, half inch thick. Question a lot. What do you do with fresh hops? 
probably the easiest thing to do. Don't know what to do with them. Is cook them off fresh, cook the meat off, throw a barbecue sauce on it, and uh, make you some nice barbecue out of it. So that takes care of the ham. Here's the fresh part of this hog. Here you've got your pork loin. This is where your pork chops come out of. Tenderloin is right here. This can be made into chops. Normal thickness would be about five eighths of an inch. That's about the average. If you're going to grill, I do about three quarters of an inch. You can get a pork roast. Some people like pork roast. We would suggest you would dip it off of the bony end of the loin or off of part of the shoulder. Normally there's a leg here, but they had that cured, so we'll start cutting steaks there in there. Neck bone, that'll be cut up into small pieces. This is your side of ribs. You notice we trim the ribs and leave literally no meat on the back of the bones. Why we do that is what's worth more, ribs or bacon. So that's why we trim them as close as we can. If you leave meat on the ribs, you're taking meat away from your bacon. So me, I'd rather have the bacon. So that's why we trim the ribs close. This is your front shoulder, or this part here is where the cali is. We'll cut some pork steaks to right about here, cutting in this direction. Then we'll turn it in this direction and cut pork steaks this way. This is a butt. That's what your butt is. Right there. So, anyway, we'll start cutting now. This particular customer wants the tenderloin pulled off of the loin. It's their hog, and we'll cut it up any way they want. So we pull the tenderloin off, put it right there, and the rest of it they will cut in half inch chops. They like them a little thinner, so that's how they cut. Shine them off of here. Makes it a lot easier when we go to vacuum. It's a lot easier to vacuum pack it without the extra foam on there. Plus, it just takes up room and the frying pan. Next. 
got the wood sticks, which are also half inch thick. We like to freeze these so they're a lot easier to cut and more uniform. And that 